Margaret Burke White was a strong will photographer and a woman of many firsts. Her interest in photography began at a young age and grew as she got older. She was Life Magazine's first female photographer. Burke White was the first Western photographer permitted to enter the Soviet Union in the 1930s and the first female photographer to cover the combat zones in World War II. This particular photo was taken in Germany during the liberation of Buchenwald in April of 1945. It shows Buchenwald survivors being examined after the U.S. troops came in. This photo stuck out to me because it shows so much without too much actually going on. It's a bittersweet moment to see these people being rescued, but knowing they already went through so much. An interesting fact about this photo, and many others that were taken that day, is that they were not published until 1960, almost 15 years after they were taken. They were finally published in Life Magazine's 25 Years of Life on December 26, 1960. Taking these photos took an emotional toll on Burke White. She witnessed horrendous conditions in her march through Germany. This eventually led to her writing her memoir, Dear Fatherland, Rest Quietly, to help her cope with her feelings and the trauma from what she witnessed in Buchenwald. Being a photographer is what helped Burke White power through the terrors she had witnessed. Using a camera was almost a relief. It interposed a slight barrier between myself and the horror in front of me, she said. After the liberation of Buchenwald, Burke White went on to live a very fulfilling career. One of her most noteworthy photos, and moments overall, is her photo of Gandhi and his spinning wheel, which she captured just hours before his assassination. She was the last person to interview Gandhi before his death. After living through such an impactful career, Burke White died in 1971 after a long battle with Parkinson's disease.